Welcome back! Let's be real, I'm giving you guys Christmas shopping advice with less than a week to go before Christmas. If you feel like you still need these tips, maybe just call this year a wash and apply these to next year. Oh, and then I'll make time management for video releases my New Year's resolution and I will work on it for next year. It's all about learning experiences. But you clicked on the video, you're here for a reason, so here you have it. My guide to Christmas shopping. Number one, follow a three-person rule. When I go shopping, really at any point in the year, three people are allowed to cut me off unapologetically. And unapologetically is the important word. Like, if someone gets in my way accidentally or pops my personal bubble and it's a complete mistake and they show that they're apologetic for it, it's totally fine. Things happen. That's to be expected. Close quarters, lots of people, a little bit of a rush. That's going to happen. But the people that cut you off or push you a little bit or get in front of you in line just because they're a douchebag, that's who I'm talking about. Three of them get to behave like douchebags, but the fourth person... <laughs> the fourth person will suffer. Number two, parents of the world we have to have a chat. If you have kids that are young enough to need a stroller, I want you to pause this video, get up, grab a piece of paper, and write out, a stroller is not a weapon, 25 times. There is nothing about you having kids that makes me feel like I need to suffer for your life decisions. You need to wait in line, just like I do. And if we're in close quarters, but your impatience prompts you to use your child's stroller as an ankle-bashing, rolling hammer of doom, I will have no choice but to tip that bugaboo over. Basically, all of that was just to say, don't let yourself be knocked over by a baby stroller. And if you have a baby stroller, here's hoping you're not person number four in tip number one. Tip number three, and stay with me on this one. I am a firm believer that any and all Christmas shopping that is done between the 20th and the 24th of December should be reserved for office workers or friends that hit on the person who you're dating or from that person who told you how much weight you've gained. See, that way you can shop guilt-free at a gas station rather than waiting in line for someone you can only barely tolerate anyway. We have a crossword for the moron, condoms for the sleaze bag, oh and don't forget this half-eaten chocolate bar for the that called me fat. That's not even entirely a joke. Someone very recently told me that I'm starting to look married. You know who you are. This one's gonna be a hard pill to swallow. Tip number four. Do you know who hates Christmas shopping more than the shoppers? The workers who deal with the shoppers for minimum wage rather than getting their own shopping done or, heaven forbid, spending time with their loved ones. Take it from someone who has put in his fair share of time working in retail. They are all doing their best, or at least as well as they feel like they should be doing for how much they're getting paid, which again, is not a lot. Just try to remember that the next time that you go in and get upset that you're not being served fast enough by the person who's working as hard as they can to deal with 24 other people all by themselves. It's not their fault that you're in a rush, and it's absolutely not their fault that you are entitled. Time for the most important one. Nope, I just spat all over the camera. Number five. Leave your credit card at home. You'll thank me later, I promise. From one maxed out bankruptcy candidate to another, trust me when I say that a budget is going to be your very best friend. I don't care how strong you think your willpower is, we all know that a credit card is gonna be sitting in your wallet in your pocket going, use me, swipe me, let me ruin your credit rating. Buy the tablet that you have literally no use for. Buy it. Just don't do it. Just don't. Bring cash with you and bring just enough. Leave your credit card at home and then you have cash with you to pay off people after you tip over a baby stroller. See, it's full circle. You see how I came back to it again? Oh man, go to the end card. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And do you have any extra little tips for Christmas shopping? Let me know in the comments section below. If you're new here, click right there to subscribe to the channel. I have more episodes right down there. All of my social media in the corner over there. And I will see you tomorrow.